Right. A very good morning, students. Having covered the varieties of diagrams, especially the one-dimensional diagram, let's move on to one more last category of it. As you can see on the top of the board, broken bar diagram. All right. Example in front of you, the contentious topic, the topic which is uh, being spoken about everywhere and we are also being affected, COVID cases. Now, in India, which is the second most COVID-affected country in the world as of now, the number of states which are suffering from it differ, right? In fact, you'll find out the concentration of these cases is primarily in few states and not in all of them. So, let's look into it. MP, the first one. Bihar, another one. Maharashtra, third. And UP, the fourth, taken into account. But if you see the difference in it, Maharashtra is leaps and bounds ahead in comparison to the other three states, which speaks a little bit of a sorry state of that particular uh, state, which is suffering from so many cases. The cases are expressed in thousands, clear? So huge number of cases in comparison to other state. And having said this, students, it is only a, it is only a statistical example, exemplified numbers. The actual numbers are far greater as such. Any which way. Let's look into it how we can prepare a diagram for it. Let's make it on X and Y axis. On X axis, we can take the states for consideration, which is the first one, MP followed by Bihar, followed by Maharashtra. And last but not the least is the state which has given maximum prime ministers, UP. Let's move ahead. Now, MP, for that we have to take the scale first. Let me take the scale of 50,000 for 1 centimeter. The scale, 150 and I'm taking, just for the sake of taking 200 as such, otherwise I could have reduced it to 50, 150 also. So what is the scale? 1 centimeter is equal to 50,000 uh, in terms of cases as such. So let's pick it up. MP, let's make a, a rectangle from it. 100 is the size, so the rectangle will be this much tall to start with. Bihar, a little bit lengthier skyscraper, so this much is the height of this uh, building, we can say. Maharashtra, if you see uh, students, it is 600 and our graphical presentation doesn't provide for anything beyond 200 naturally because if you take the scale like this, 600 will be somewhere to the next level. Therefore, we don't want to keep the graph absolutely vacant, the diagram absolutely vacant through its quadrant. So to make the better use and optimum use of it, it is idealistically where here we are going to use the broken bar pattern. So what we'll do for it, Maharashtra, 600. I am taking to the maximum height possible, which is 200. That doesn't mean its height is 200 or size is 200. I'll break it and prepare another small rectangle representing the, the broken bar. And now its value will be what is given as 600 as the answer projects. Am I clear? So, Maharashtra, by breaking the bar, we are representing 600. Come to the last one, UP, 150. The last of the states, no need to break the bar because we have enough of the presentation scope. So bottom line is students, when it is to be used, to be used conditionally, not every time. Whenever you have an, an what do you call it, exceptionally one value which is greater, much, much greater than the other, it is far better not to adjust the entire quadrant accordingly, but to make it in such a way that it makes for easier presentation, nice presentation, where all the other three states can be presented comparingly nicely. We can see that in these three states, the difference is also palpable, but also we can also present the state of Maharashtra, which is pretty high, but can be presented through broken bar. Am I clear? I hope all of you understood it. Broken bar diagram. Thank you.